Hi Sam, how are you doing today? Alright. You doing alright? Yeah. Uh, I see that this is the uh, first time you've come in. Mm -hmm. You filled out some of the other paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. 20 of them. Mm -hmm. A lot of pages? Yeah. How'd that go? It went. I mean, I've seen that stuff before, but it wasn't too bad. Nothing surprising in there? No. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Nothing distressing? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you a series of questions uh, as part of a process called intake. Mm -hmm. right, so this document that I'll be uh, making notes on will go in your chart and it will help guide your care for the time that you're with me. Okay. All right. So these questions are going to be more detailed and uh, more emotionally oriented than a lot of those questions that you were answering on the forms you filled out before. Okay. Right, that was more like factual information that we need for insurance or record keeping. And this is more about you and what you've been going through. Okay. You comfortable with that? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay? All right. If at any time uh, you don't like one of the questions or you don't want to answer one of the questions, just let me know and we'll just We'll just skip over that. Okay, fair enough. Right. So what brings you in today? Uh, I brought myself in. Um, things have just not been fantastic, so I figured I might as well uh, get some help before it got worse. All right, things haven't been fantastic? Yeah. And you're worried they're going to get worse? Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. What would you say that your uh, main problem is that, that motivates you to come in? Um, probably my anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just nervous about a lot of things a lot of the time um, and it's kind of trickling into every area of my life now. Yeah. So anxiety? Mm -hmm. You said it's a, like a nervousness? That's Yeah, just like nervousness about going places, nervousness about doing things or school or work or you know graduating college, just kind of that whole stage, and it's been like that for a while. How long? Um, I can remember as far back as like 13 or 14 maybe. Yeah. And how old are you now? 23. So this is around 10 years you've been yeah. coping with this? Yeah, off and on, yeah. yeah. Off and on? Yeah. So there's times when you're not anxious? Not as bad. I mean, I'm still anxious, but not as extreme, or I don't deal with it the same way. If you were to rate your anxiety uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being really no anxiety and 10 being the worst it's been in the last 10 years, how okay. much anxiety do you have right now? Like a 6. When was the last time you were a 10? Um, last weekend. When was the last time you were a 1? I'm not really sure. No. Um, Approximately? Maybe like a couple months ago when I was just hanging out with my friends. Um, we went out and we were partying a little bit and I didn't. It was nice. I wasn't super anxious. Fine. Right. a couple months ago? Yeah. Okay. So the anxiety is, is one problem. Any other problems? Um, I don't think it's a huge problem, but. Um, I have been drinking a lot, but it helps with the anxiety, but it makes going out and, you know, I'm more relaxed that way. Mm -hmm. um, but I can be kind of a compulsive person, so once I start, I keep going. Um, so it's not all the time, it's just happening, you know, when I'm going out, but I end up drinking too much. And so sometimes when you go out, yeah. you drink more than you want to. Yeah. What happens then? Um, I make bad decisions, or I get sick, or the next morning I'm showing up hungover going to class, if I make class, um, and you know, it's fun for the time being, but it's not fun afterwards. So the consequences of drinking in the, the longer run, yeah. well, you're not too fond of those, but in the short run? Yeah, it helps in the moment. Okay. So you want the anxiety to be lessened. Do you want the drinking to be lessened? Uh, probably. 
Yeah, I mean, I like, I'd like to still have fun. I'm in college, but I would like to not be like blacking out or being able to stop would be nice. Is that what happens now? You black out? Occasionally, not not every time, but sometimes. Well, sometimes. Yeah. Do you remember the last time you blacked out? Um, maybe a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. It's not all the time, though. At what age did you start drinking? Fourteen. At fourteen? Yeah. All right. Any other problems you have with anxiety and you have uh, drinking alcohol? Mm -hmm. Any other problems? I don't think so. Right. So those are the two main things that are, yeah. that are bothering you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I want to ask you some questions about your history. Okay. All right. And I'm going to try to divide this up into different areas and just kind of move from one area to the next. There'll be some overlap. Okay. So if I ask you the same question more than once, it's just kind of part of that overlap that, that occurs. All right. First, I'd like to cover your family history. So can you tell me about your immediate family? Um, I have one sister, mm -hmm. um, mom and a dad. Uh, pretty typical. Um, my sister is really successful. Um, she's a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, both my parents are really successful too. So, basic family. All right. What type of relationship do you have with your sister? Um, kind of like a Merry Christmas, Happy Easter type of relationship. Um, or more like acquaintances than we are siblings. Would you describe it as distant? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, we're nice. We're not like, but we're not going to be like involved in each other's lives, really. Do you know what caused the relationship to uh, end up that way? I don't know. Um, she was always kind of the like ideal child. She went and did everything that she was supposed to do, and it was easy for her. Um, so. Constantly being compared to that doesn't really foster a great relationship. Who compares you to your sister? Uh, my dad, usually. Yeah. Sometimes my mom. Depends on the day. Was this a frequent occurrence, the comparison? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Do you feel like it had an impact on you? Uh, probably. Um, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't trying, but not everything can be as easy as it is for some people. So, uh, a little acknowledgement might be nice. All right, so let's move out a little further. So you talked about uh, your mother, your father, mm -hmm. your sister, any other siblings? No. no. How about uh, grandparents? Um, they're around. Um, typical grandparents, not super involved, but they're there sometimes. Good relationship? Yeah, them. I mean, you know, grandparents show up and it's always like, hi, how's it going? And, you know, you see them at the next holiday type of thing. All right, so there's, there's not one grandparent you're particularly close to? I do have one grandfather I talk to on, like, on a more personal level than I would my other ones, um, but that's gotten more distant in the past couple of years. Okay. How about uh, aunts, uncles, cousins? Um, I have a couple of cousins that I would hang out with or I'll see out when I'm hanging out with my friends or whatever. Um, so we'll hang out if we run into each other. Um, aunts and uncles I do have. They're not super involved either, but everybody's cordial. You know? Everybody's cordial. Yeah. Nice when they see you type of thing. Alright. So when's the uh, last time you spoke, uh, say for example, with one of your cousins? Um, I think I ran into one of them like two weeks ago when we were just out. A couple weeks ago? Yeah. All right. Do any of the relatives that you mentioned, are any of them aware of your anxiety uh, and or your drinking? My parents are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody else? My sister knows about the anxiety part of it. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure she knows about the drinking, but she doesn't bring it up. But if my parents know, I'm sure she knows. 
So you believe that they told her? I'm sure. Yeah. But she's not mentioned that to you directly? No, we don't have those types of conversations. It's more like, oh, she messed up again, and it's just sort of like this like funny thing, and then they move on, so. Hmm. All right. So I see this bothers you. Yeah. It's annoying. Annoying? Yeah. Some of these topics that we're going to touch on uh, in this intake, we can, we can talk about in greater detail later on. Okay. All right. So, and, and maybe your relationship with your mother and father and your sister would be, would be topics we'd touch on later on. Maybe not, but I want to let you know that we can come back to anything. And, review it. Okay. Right. So I want to move uh, kind of out of family history a bit and move to uh, social relationships. Okay. Right. Again, it's kind of similar, a little bit of overlap here. Uh, can you tell me about any romantic interests, friends, anything like that? Uh, yeah. I have a guy I've been seeing for like six months, so mm -hmm. that's pretty serious for college. Okay. Um, and some of my college friends I'm really close with, so they're there with me for a lot. About how many? Um, there's three girls that I'm super close with. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, college, like, there's a lot of people I'm acquaintances with, or I'll see, or talk to in class, or whatever. Um, but those three girls are kind of the ones I would go to if I needed something. Alright. And then you have some other friends that you're not as close to? Yeah, I mean, if we're nice and we have fun, and. Um, you know, I'm sure if something happened, they would bail me out, but they're not like people I'm going to talk to about my problems or anything like that. They know about your problems? Um, I don't know. I guess you could know, like, when I show up to class, I'm over, but I'm sure I'm not the only one doing that, so. And how about the, you said the, the guy you're seeing for six months, does he know about the problems? Um, somewhat, yeah. He knows about, um, definitely knows about the anxiety. And he's with me a lot when I go out, so um, if something does happen, he's usually helping me out or making sure I get home or whatever. So he's uh, supportive? Yeah, really supportive. All right. So some of the questions I'm going to ask you, this gives me a good opportunity to talk about this, uh, I probably could guess the answer to, but I still want to ask, not be presumptuous. Okay. Uh, do you have any children? No. Uh, Okay, how about nieces or nephews? No. no. Any other social relationships <clears throat> that I've missed here that are important to you? Uh, I don't think so. Those are the main ones right now. Yeah. Alright. All right. She said you're 23. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you some questions about your medical history. Okay. Have you had any surgeries in your lifetime? I got my appendix removed. Appendix removed? Yeah. Any other serious medical conditions? No, I've had my wisdom teeth taken out. That wisdom counts. teeth extract? Yeah. Are you on any medications for physical problems? No. no. How about your activity level? Do you stay fairly active? Yeah, I try to. Yeah. Um, I go to the gym like twice a week or whatever, and um, I go to yoga sometimes. So yeah, I try to get out. Alright. So you consider yourself an active person? Yeah, I try to be in between, you know, classes and everything else. But when I do have the time, I like I enjoy being going out and doing things. Okay. Would you generally say you're in good health then? Yeah, physically, yeah. yeah. Physically? Yeah. Alright. No other illnesses, surgeries, procedures, no? No. no. Alright. So I want to shift gears a little bit again, and now talk about psychiatric history. Okay. Alright. 
And what I'm getting at here is kind of a history of any diagnoses, medications, other times you've been treated by a counselor or somebody like a counselor. Uh, let's start with uh, medications. Y'all, any medications? For um, no. Mental health, no. How about history of diagnoses? Have you ever been diagnosed with a mental health condition? Um, yeah, I was. Um, I was seeing a therapist before, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. um, and I saw him a couple of times. I think he said I had some sort of anxiety disorder or something. Do you remember specifically what he said? Um, something more general. So, like it wasn't about any particular thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I saw him for a little while, but I just really wasn't on board with the whole therapy thing at that point. I didn't think it was going to help, so. And how old, are, how old were you when you saw? Fifteen or sixteen, yeah. Alright, so, and that was the counselor? Yeah. 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 Alright, so you saw the counselor, the counselor indicated you had some type of anxiety disorder. Yeah. Do you feel that was a fair assessment? I think so. Yeah. yeah. And how long did you see the counselor? I think about five or six times, maybe. Five or six sessions? Yeah. yeah. And why did you discontinue the treatment? Um, I don't know, I just didn't really feel like I was really involved in it, and it felt like it was more a waste of my time, and his wasn't ready. Um, I don't know that I was super on board with the whole anxiety thing at that point. Um, I mean, he was nice, there wasn't like an issue with him, um, I just don't, I wasn't there. Any mention at that time about the drinking? Um, I think I brought it up, but I didn't really see it as an issue then. How about other mental health professionals like a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a marriage and family therapist? Um, my parents had me see a psychiatrist like maybe once or twice, <coughs> but didn't really stick with that either. You weren't prescribed any medication? No. no. And what do you think happened there that you didn't stick with that? I think kind of the same thing. Um, I knew that obviously there was something going on, but I don't think I was ready to deal with it. And I kind of felt like I had it under control at that point. Can you tell me about uh, when you saw the psychiatrist in relation to when you saw the counselor? Um, it was all within that same time period. Um, I think I saw the counselor first, and then maybe the psychiatrist like a week or two later, and then followed up with the counselor, but um, I just wasn't really present during any of it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're in a different state of mind now? Yeah, I think so. Well, tell me about that. Um, I realize now that I'm not handling it like I thought I was, um, and it's affecting other areas of my life. And, you know, in my senior year of college, I need to get my life together, and I'm not really doing that so well. So, well. so um, I think it's time to figure something out. All right, so you feel like you're ready to commit to treatment a little more uh, vigorously Yeah. at this point? Okay. Yeah, I want the help now. And back then? No. No, okay. And no other treatment providers? Nope, just those. Okay, just those two.